Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology. This time with a unit on measures of association and in particular measures of association for ordinary scaled variables. Well, ordinary scaled variables means as well where the least powerful scale is ordinal. So it could also be the case that we combine, for example, metric scaled variable and ordinal scaled variable. Or, well, obviously two ordinal scaled variables. So if we take a look here at our data set, one idea what we could use would be, for example, the classified BMI and our height. Let's take height in centimeters and classified BMI. Classified BMI as ordinal, height in centimeters, that scale, so meaning metric, so meaning we need to use the respective method. The respective method for this, this is Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Well, doesn't matter which type of correlation coefficient, both of them can be found here with correlate, and in particular with bivariate correlations. Well, here directly in the lower part we see which type of correlation coefficient we can calculate. As I said, in this case we need Spearman's rank correlation. Select BMI, we select height, and then we click OK. We get this result. The upper part, the 0 0.181, this gives us the correlation coefficient. So we can say overall a distinct but not very large correlation. However, we see down here significance level of 0 0.002, so smaller than 5%. So this is a significant correlation. It's even a highly significant correlation. So we can assume that this relation, which is also positive, holds as well for the whole population and not only for our sample. Well, we can also see here, as I said, it's a positive correlation, meaning the higher the BMI, usually the higher the height and the other way around. So we are talking about here, here about correlation. We do not know whether it's the BMI that drives the height or the height which drives the BMI but we know they are related in a positive manner. With this in mind, we already finished this session, so I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it. If you want to see more of this type of exercises or explanations, feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. So, until then, see you and goodbye.